From geese that saved the Roman Republic to a sheep that pioneered cloning technology, here are 12 amazing animals that changed history. Number 12, Smokey the dog. She only weighed four pounds, less than two kilograms, and stood about seven inches tall, 18 centimeters. But Smokey made a big name for herself by serving in World War II. The Yorkshire Terrier was actually found in a foxhole in the jungles of New Guinea. After being purchased by an American soldier named Bill Wynn, she was credited with 12 combat missions and awarded eight battle stars. Wynn even credited her with saving his life by alerting him to incoming fire. She also gained fame by entertaining troops in military hospitals from Australia to Korea. After the war, Smokey became a celebrity and even had her own TV show in Cleveland. She passed away there in 1957. Number 11, Sher Army. In French, Sher Army means dear friend. And for Allied forces during World War I, this female homing pigeon was certainly that. While pigeons may not immediately seem like the most fearless of animals, they have been enlisted by the US military to conduct surveillance and relay messages. During the First World War, she was credited with transporting and delivering several vital messages for Australians in Verdun, France. But her most important delivery occurred in 1918. Nearly 200 US soldiers were trapped behind enemy lines without ammunition or food, and Allied forces had lost track of them. The commanding officer tried using pigeons to dispatch messages, but enemy snipers shot them down. When Sher Ami carried a note requesting support, she was also shot. But she managed to continue her flight and travelled about 25 miles, 40 kilometres, to a division headquarters despite bullet wounds and a blinded eye. Her efforts ended up saving the lives of the trapped soldiers and made her a famous war hero. Number 10, Laika the Space Dog. During the 1950s and 60s, the Soviet space program launched dogs into orbital flights to determine the effect of space travel on humans. None of the dogs were more famous than Laika, a stray female husky mix from Moscow. In 1957, she was placed aboard Sputnik 2, the second spacecraft placed into Earth's orbit. She became the first living animal to accomplish that feat, but she served as a sacrifice. Deorbiting technology still wasn't developed, so it was never anticipated that Laika would survive the trip. As it turned out, the dog passed away within hours when the satellite overheated. Although it was widely reported that Laika died of oxygen depletion, her true cause of death wasn't made public until 2002. A monument was built to honour Laika in 2008 near the location of her spaceflight. It depicts a rocket with a dog standing atop it. Number 9. Geese that saved Rome. These birds are known for their honking noises, which are often too loud to ignore. Their calls serve various purposes, including as a way of warding off intruders. That was the case in Rome in the 4th century BC. The Republic was under siege by the Gauls, and some enemy agents tried to scale the Capitoline Hill during the night. But several geese kept at the location were alarmed by the activity and started honking up a storm. The noise was loud enough to waken the guards, who called other defenders to repel the invaders. Those geese were regarded as sacred animals of Juno the Roman goddess and were typically kept on the Capitoline. Number 8. Belka and Strelka These two dogs were successors to Laika in the Soviet space program. While their predecessor didn't survive the journey, Belka and Strelka were launched with Sputnik 5 in 1960 and spent one day in space. Along for the ride were 42 mice, a rabbit, and flies. All the passengers survived, and they were the first animals born on Earth to return alive after being in orbit. The experiments with canine cosmonauts also helped pave the way for human spaceflight. Researchers understood that passengers could survive orbital launches and survive in a weightless environment. Number 7. CSI Snowball did you know a cat once provided evidence that resulted in the conviction of a murderer? In 1994, the body of a woman named Shirley Dugay was found buried in a shallow grave in Prince Edward Island. The prime suspect was her common-law husband, Douglas Beamish, who was known to be violently abusive. But the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, RCMP, had no evidence to link him to the crime. Then a man's leather jacket was found in the woods that was covered with the victim's blood, 
and dozens of hairs from a white cat. RCMP investigators recalled from a previous interview with Beamish that he owned a white cat named Snowball. Police confiscated the animal with the idea of DNA matching Snowball's hair to those found on the jacket. At that time, DNA fingerprinting was still an emerging science and it had never been used to analyse a pet's DNA as forensic evidence. Police eventually located a geneticist in the US who was able to devise a foolproof method that positively matched the cat's hairs on the jacket to Snowball's fur. That led to Beamish's conviction and a life sentence in prison. Pet DNA databases have since been established and the science has led to other convictions. Number 6. Echo You may not recognise her name, but Echo was a female bush elephant that was arguably the most famous elephant in the world. And much of what we know about elephants, including their intelligence and methods of communication, came from observing her and her family. Named for the radio collar she wore beginning in 1973, Echo became the subject of the longest running study of a terrestrial mammal. For more than 30 years, she was followed by wildlife biologists and her actions were documented by film crews from the BBC. She gained millions of admiring fans who watched her overcome tragedies like the kidnapping of her daughter by a rival herd. Echo organised her biggest elephants into a herd, charged after her rivals and rescued her daughter. By the time Echo passed away in 2009, she was one of the world's biggest TV stars. Literally. She still serves to promote the protection of elephants in the wild. Number 5. Togo and Balto. In 1925, an outbreak of diphtheria struck Nome, Alaska, and medical officials knew they had a potential epidemic on their hands. They desperately needed antitoxins, but the nearest supply was located over 670 miles, 1,078 kilometres distant. With extremely cold weather incapacitating other means of transportation, they determined to use multiple dog sled teams to deliver the serum. The lead dog was a Siberian husky named Togo. He started the epic journey and covered hundreds of miles during which the team encountered all types of dangers. That included whiteout storms, gales that produced wind chills of minus 85 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 65 Celsius, and rescuing his team and driver from broken ice flows. The serum was passed on to a team that was led by another Siberian Husky named Balto, and his team completed the final leg of the mission. Since Balto brought the serum to Nome, that dog received the most accolades and is now the more famous name. A statue is dedicated to him that's still standing in New York's Central Park but it should never be forgotten that Togo's journey was more hazardous and covered some 365 miles round trip, 587 kilometers. Number four, lessons from Jim. In the late 19th century, diphtheria was a dreaded disease among humans, but horses were able to survive the effects with relative discomfort. When the animals were injected with a diphtheria toxin, they produced antibodies which became a life-saving serum given to diphtheria patients. Jim was a milk wagon horse from St. Louis who also received the injections. Over three years, he produced some 30 quarts of serum that saved countless lives. But he had to be euthanized in 1901 due to a tetanus infection. Unfortunately, more than a dozen people died due to receiving Jim's contaminated serum because the antitoxin had been sold without being inspected or tested. The tragic fallout from the oversight led to the passage of the Biologics Control Act of 1902. That propelled medicine into a new era and led to the establishment of the US Food and Drug Administration, FDA, in 1906. More than a century later, the animal's story is referenced in a clinical trials manual called Lessons from a Horse Named Jim. Number three, David Greybeard. Today, Jane Goodall is acknowledged as the world's foremost expert on chimpanzees. Her decades-long studies on chimps in the wild started in 1960, when she began to examine the animal's social and family life. One of her subjects was a male chimp with grey whiskers she nicknamed David Greybeard. He provided Goodall with some groundbreaking discoveries about chimpanzee behaviour in the wild. When she saw him sharing meat from a bush pig with a companion, it disproved the human assumption that chimps were vegetarians. One of Goodall's most important discoveries came about a month later. 
That's when she observed David and another subject sitting in a termite mound. The two chimps stripped leaves off twigs and used them as instruments to fish insects out of the hill. It was the first time non-human animals had ever been observed creating tools. Until then, tool making was regarded as a behaviour unique to humans. Number 2. Black Rats These are the rats synonymous with the bubonic plague, or Black Death, that devastated Europe and Asia during the late Middle Ages. And there were pandemics that preceded and followed the one that occurred between 1340 and 1400. The rats carried parasitic fleas that in turn carried the bacterium that causes the bubonic plague. Experts say that a big reason why these rats can transmit diseases is due to their ability to tolerate so many infectious bacteria in their system. The exact number of fatalities caused by the Black Death are difficult to pinpoint, but many sources claim that as many as 50 million people could have died from the disease. That would have been around 60% of Europe's population at the time. Did you know that plague spread by black rats still occurs in the 21st century? An outbreak in 2017 killed over 170 people in Madagascar. Number 1. Dolly the Sheep She might be the most famous ungulate that ever lived. Dolly was a female domestic sheep that represented a milestone in science. When she was born in 1996, she became the first mammal to be cloned from an adult cell. She lived her whole life in Edinburgh, Scotland at the Roslin Institute. After being bred with a ram, she produced a total of six offspring. By 2003, Dolly had developed such severe arthritis and debilitating lung disease that scientists decided to euthanize her. Four identical clones of Dolly were said to show no defects as of 2016. So it looks like the famous sheep will continue to live on, in one form or another. And here's a fun fact, since Dolly was cloned from a mammary gland, scientists named the sheep after singer Dolly Parton. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here on Epic Wildlife.